$1. Hosting a garage sale can bring in a little extra cash, but for those residents living within Hattiesburg city limits, it also requires a permit. You must be owner or occupant of the property where you're going to have a sale. Uh, you are allowed two free sales per calendar year at that address or under that name. After the first two free permits, there is a charge. The third one would be $50, the fourth is 100 and then it would level out at 200 some residents agree with the policy because it helps regulate garage sales. The permits are a great thing to have and you know for, for keeping those people who do have year-round garage sales in check. The policy also ensures that residents don't run small businesses out of their homes. It limits it to those who are actually having garage sales and not running a business out of their home. Um, so I think it is a good idea to help uh, neighborhoods control that. Christy Dickinson says that more people would obtain a permit if they could be more easily accessed. I think it would be easier if they could do something online. That's the major problems with people today is that we don't have a lot of time to go down to the county office. A lot of us work during their business hours. Alexis Lett, who's raising money for her church, agrees. It's out of the way for me to drive all the way down there when I get off campus. City clerks say before holding a garage sale to obtain a permit. Reporting for Hub City TV, I'm Leslie Nash.